Hi everyone. So this is part two of the previous video. We have already written the code. Now we will see how it is actually working. So first of all, you need to install Redux Dev Tools. Okay, you can just Google it, and once the Redux Dev Tool is enabled, you can see these options. You will be able to see these options, or in the bottom, you will be able to see the components or this Redux option in your code. Okay. So we already talked about this Redux Dev Tool is actually showing you the store object. So this is my store object. This is my state, hello world, profile, message, right? And this is my UI action. From this UI action, I will be sending one action to the Redux. And so how can we see all these things happening? Here in the inspector, you can see one action is going. You can see hello world action is triggered. And this action is sending type hello world. I can just zoom it. So this hello world we are sending, and based on this hello world reducers, we'll update the message. Now we can see what is our next state. You can see the hello world is my current state. Earlier the message was having hello only. Now the output by clicking onto this button. Now my state is hello world, and the same state I am showing on the UI, right? And you can also do the time travel. Currently my state was hello. Then after clicking on to it my state become hello world right so this is called time travel debugging initially hello you clicked on one button this become hello world profile was empty we were not we are not triggering any action to update the profile object okay but this is very helpful to actual debugging the redux state you can inspect here you can see you can click keep clicking on to it this state keeps coming right and what we are doing we are just keep updating the same thing here you can actually keep increasing the counter or doing something. Here you are actually returning the new state every time. And this is what action you are sending. Right? So this is helpful to do the logging here. You can see the logging is happening. Here this is was this was your initial state. Then you click on to the button, your message become hello world, profile is still same because we are using two different reducers and two different child state object you can see in the our state state is divided into the hello world object and the profile object Pro or we are just updating hello world object only changing the message property similarly you can trigger another you can dispatch the actions from the react component with the help of map dispatch to props you can trigger the action like update profile get profile delete profile and you can update the profile object and once the profile object is updated this data will be available to all the component we have in the system okay so this is how redux dev tool works this is how you can do the debugging this is how you can simulate and see how redux state is getting revamped getting changed how the how we are getting the new state every time whenever we are triggering action so we have now we are very much familiar with how redux works redux actions redux reducers redux stores and how this how to make the redux state immutable because redux state is read only based on the action we will just use this object dot assign array map filter spread operator or maybe immutable js to keep our state read only okay thanks everyone from the next video we will just talk about now uh, different applications weather applications or a YouTube application where we can see the real-time example of Redux with React application. Thanks everyone.